This is a Remington 20 wheeled string trimmer, 159cc overhead valve, and uh, this we use to do just about everything since our bush hog is currently broken because the hydraulics are messed up on the tractor. So these are the belts that supposedly fit right here. And I've got some belts here that are ones that um, I purchased to see if they fit because they're cheaper and they're bigger belts than uh, what I need and I've apparently already used the 1120 and I'm going to try the 1112 on this. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a little bit too small but I also know that the belt stretch so we'll try this one out and see. We uh, make our own little strings for the trimmer because the strings that uh, you have to purchase pre-made are kind of expensive. We put four of them on instead of two so that they'll actually hold in place. Now the first thing you have to do is take off this thing here so that you can kind of get it what's underneath. And I'll bet you it's a 10 and not an 11. No, 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 it's an 11. <laughs> This is my 40-year-old SK ratchet. I think the extender is 40 years old too. SK is a amazingly good tool. I can't imagine actually paying for one these days, but apparently when I was 14 years old, I thought it was a great idea. Probably because that's what they sold at the hard, hardware store that I went to. Uh, there's one right here too. This thing, you kind of slip around like that. The slots are meant for taking it around the wheel right here. Probably it's not a good idea to throw that like I just did. So we'll take that off. There we go. So we want to make sure that we know how that comes apart. There like that. Now there is a axle in the way here. Like that. Ah, that's what those are there for. So we can go like that. <laughs> and then try to hook it onto the wheel here, uh, the pulley. Get this thing around through there. Oh, there we go. How? How? Not including one's finger. Okay. There we go. So we just put on the 1112, and previously we had tried the 1120. So the 1120 is slightly longer, I guess eight millimeters longer than the 1112. Only because I don't have an intermediate length extender, I'm gonna put on a UV joint here. Is that gonna be a 13? Yes, it is. That one is a little long. There we go. Probably. You see that? So all you need to do is undo that bolt and that bolt and that one a little, and you can gain access. So I can do that. And then I've also loosened this one over here already. So I can get, I can do that. Um, there we go. We solved the issue of it being too tight. This is a mistake I made when I first did this. Instead of having the pulley uh, pull the belt that way, it should be pulling it that way. And so if we do that, we can pop that on there. Probably have to have the belt lined up at the same time. There we go. Just to make it easy to get. The on there, there we go. So we got that on there. Then we have these parts here, which we put together like so. Get that started on there. And tighten that up. There we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, see? That's not so bad at all. Next, we gotta put it back together again. See how the belt slides there between the spring and that piece of metal? So the belt's not gonna get caught there. 
I need to grab these bolts, which we took off, and pop them up there. And so, uh, there we go. Okay, so that bolt right there, or that nut right there, right there and right there, both need to be completely removed. Uh, this one right here, which is currently under, um, needs to be partially removed. Once those are removed, this will slide forward like that, and that will allow you to uh, get the uh, belt around that piece of metal there, and there's a piece of metal there. Then we've also got over here, that has to be loosened up as well so that we can get the belt through that gap right there. But I don't think the nut right over down here needs to be loosened. Now, the next step is to simply put this back on. And once again, these slots here allow you to just do that. And then it's just a matter of lining everything up. Last one goes right here. It's amazing how much better it works when you've got the right size socket in there. Timer up. One, two, three.